Hey, hey, my lovely. So as I said in the last video, here is the update of Amberlynn's CT scan update. Trader Joe's Hall. Oh God, does she remind you of someone? Fucking hell, she might, she might as well just jump into Alexandra's body. Um, and I quit vaping, which is always a good thing, especially for someone her size. I mean, you see the young ones. I don't know if it's you have that in America, but we see a lot of people that vape here end up in hospital. A lot of the young ones um they think it doesn't do any damage to their lungs but it certainly does all right i'm really curious to see if she had this scan done let's play these um sunglasses is definitely just a hair statement it's kind of like a headband I oh my god that's exactly what alex says she copies her she copies her seriously does she think that we don't know i know there's a lot of people out there who totally would relate like headbands do not pull the hair back in such a cute way like the way sunglasses does anyways i have a trader joe's haul so let's get into that first things first i saw these sour cream and onion corn puffs 68 of these is a serving for only 130 calories i was like they're the same ones that um alex buys i just don't believe it talk about single white female do you guys remember that movie single white female this is what Amberlynn is it's not bad at all. I got some savory thin crackers because I want to make just like a cracker plate. For that cracker plate, I got some artichoke and jalapeno dip, which I'm excited to try. So as you guys know, salami is a triggering food for me, but I discovered, which I prefer better than just regular salami. It's like these salami sticks and you get so many for a serving that it like satisfies me and I don't. Look how many she's got there. Look how many she has there. And again, it's processed food, stuff that she shouldn't really be eating. A little triggered while I eat them. So for two of these is 140 calories. So if I just want half of it, it's only 70. So I got like a ton of those. I got some grade A large eggs. I got some organic chicken and then some top sirloin steak. Mini peppers, which I like to eat these raw, but I also like to cook them as well. I got some broccoli, cauliflower scallions which i like putting on literally anything and everything and then this is some fresh mozzarella cheese so it's just like little individual things of mozzarella cheese that you can snack on it literally just says snackers yeah. on yep just what you and uh, just what you and alex need is snacks more snacks so last time i went to trader joe's i did try like a frozen pasta so i wanted to try another one i'm not gonna be able to pronounce this right so i'm not even gonna try but it's spaghetti pasta in a rich creamy sauce with pecorino -o. <laughs> that is so wrong Vermont it's pecorino, you ignorant heifer. Cheese and black pepper, so that's what it looks like. Also got some spicy jalapeno sausage. I got some frozen hash browns. I haven't had a hash brown in forever. Oh my god! This is single white female. I'm going to put this in the thumbnail as single white female. This is scary shit. Like, she bought literally the exact ones that Alex buys. The exact... My god, the exact hash browns. And I've just been craving it, so I figured it would be really good with breakfast. Some frozen turkey burgers. Love me a turkey burger. Got some garlic and jalapeno olives. They're stuffed olives, and they're going to be part of the salami and cheese cracker plate. I got a can of organic garbanzo beans because I like putting some seasoning on it and putting it in the air fryer. So good. Last but not least, just some lightly sweetened coconut strips. So that's everything that I got from Trader Joe's. Unbelievable. Oh, I have a headache, and this girly pop does not get headaches often. I don't know what that's about. But that's. Have you checked your blood pressure? Have you had enough water? God knows what it could be. What I'm currently experiencing, but I was coming on here to let you guys know that I actually have my CT scan scheduled. So that's gonna be coming up and it's gonna be happening soon. So I'm glad that that's gonna be out of the way because I feel like that's gonna hopefully give us- Oh God, I thought you had it done. Some answers, but I did say in my last video that I no longer have like blood in my pee, at least visible blood. Ever since I started Ozempic, I actually stopped drinking soda i think i've had one soda it was like the day i took ozempic and since then i've just been drinking water so my pee looks a little more hydrated and healthy oh my god that's too much information am i i know mm. also i'm not experiencing any more like back pain or pelvis pain or anything like that so my symptoms are gone my doctor and i both think that the ct scan is still super important to get done for sure so today is actually day five of me being on ozempic and so far so good the first three days i woke up extremely nauseous like the first day was like the worst 
Um, but like the fourth day yesterday and then waking up today, I did not really experience that. And I also wanna say that tomorrow will be a full week of me not vaping because I've been vaping Delta 8 for a while. I've been smoking for years. Um, it's something that I recently just told you guys about and it kind of goes more than that but i can explain that some other time because right now i don't really want to i know you guys hate when i say that but it's mainly just because like your girl's not ready i'm not saying i'm never gonna vape delta 8 again in my life but it just made no sense to like do that and then also be doing ozempic because i'm not gonna lie to you delta 8 sometimes did give me the munchies um i wasn't very coherent sometimes so i don't know i just felt like it just it seemed right like let's let's like take a break on that so I've just noticed a lot of changes, like in the way that I'm breathing. See, I think when you're on, I haven't been on Ozempic. I don't know too much about it, but I would say um, it's meant to stop you from eating a lot. But if your cravings are stronger than that, it's just not going to help you. People like her, I really don't think Ozempic is going to help them because I think their cravings are stronger than that. Just like Alexandra having the um, the gastric bypass and it doing absolutely nothing for her and her stretching it out straight away it's because she has no self-control and she's obsessed with food until that is diagnosed and she deals with that and gets over that and accepts that that's what it is she will continue to put weight on so will um Amberlynn. I'm not a doctor it's just my opinion because obviously vaping is not good for you like no matter what you're vaping like it's just not good and in my opinion I feel like I've been more productive I've had more of like a clear mind so that's been really nice okay you guys so i'm currently making my chickpeas in the good old air fryer so i took them out of the can i put them in the bowl and i rinsed these like five times with some water so now i'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil and i want garlic salt to be my seasoning for it that's a lot of salt a lot of garlic salt don't worry my hand is clean <laughs> and I'm the only one eating them. So you can use, um, obviously, a spoon if you want, but don't be afraid. Get in there with your hands. Now let me go wash my hand. All right, hand is washed. So I've done this a few times. I've done it with taco seasoning. There's a multitude of versions of this. You can literally just make it whatever flavor you want. Indian style, Mexican style. But my favorite... Is pesto or just plain garlic salt so i'm gonna have them going for about 10 she even has the same air fryer she's got the same air fryer that alexandra has minutes and then i'll check on them all right so this is how they are looking right now so if you want them to be more like a, a chip texture i would definitely cook it for another like five minutes mm. so good even that writing, she's copied her to this writing. You know the one that Alexandra has um, on hers? She's got the same, it's the same font. Okay, you guys, so it is the next day, and I want to weigh myself. Hello, it's ready. All right, stepping on. 489 pounds. <gasps> what the? <laughs> 49.6? Wait, if you guys saw my face right now, I am in awe. I was not expecting Your phone that. Your timer is done. Alexa, turn alarm off. Sorry, guys. I mean, I really did not eat much yesterday. I gotta admit, I had the chickpeas. Before that, I, ha I made like this like pasta chicken dish, uh, just like homemade. And that's really all I ate. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> I'm proud of that. Okay, guys, so you just saw my weigh-in. Isn't that exciting? So I really want to do weekly weigh-ins. Every Saturday is going to be like my true weigh-in. But it is like the first week that I'm back on track. So of course, I'm going to be a little sneaky sneaky. And I'm going to be stepping on that scale, just seeing what's going on. And so far, I'm down like over 10 pounds. Like, okay. But we're going to have like a, you know, Ozempic week one weigh-in coming at when I start seeing progress, that's when I believe she's losing the weight. Gotcha. But right now, I'm actually in the middle of filming some cameos. So if you guys want a cameo from me. Oh, dear God. Who on 
Earthwood want a cameo from her and from Chantel? Why do they think anyone wants a cameo? Who are these people wanting cameos from them? Oh my god. How can they be excited? How can you open it up and say, oh my god, I've got a cameo from Foodie Beauty or oh my god, I've got a cameo from Amberlynn. Who gives a crap? I'd rather have cameo from Sinatra and my dog. Yeah. The link is down below. I love filming these cameos for you guys. They make me so happy and you guys are so sweet and amazing. So that is actually what I'm in the middle of doing right now. Okay, you guys, so I just came back in from walking Twinkie, but today is actually the day where I go get a vial of Ozempic. Well, semaglutide, but same thing. So she checked my labs and all that. So she approved me for the one injection that she sent me home with. And since I'm fine on that. Now I can go to the next step, which is actually getting a whole vial of it. So if I stay on 0.25, it'll be seven weeks worth. I remember last time I did it, I think I did five or six weeks of 0.25 and then went up to 0.5. Every time I go up, it'll just be like double, not doubling my price every time, but like once I go up to 0.5, it's gonna be doubling the price that I already pay. So I'm just like ooh, dreading that. So I want 0.25 to work for as long as it can and then I'll move up, which is what you're supposed to do anyways. Like everyone is different. Like some people say I'm 0.25 for a few weeks. Some people can start in puppies who complimented me. And then like yesterday in Trader Joe's, it was probably like a 20 year old. I don't think I've ever been complimented on a purse so much in my life. Look how cute it is. Like I'm obsessed. No, it's ugly. I don't like the silver. It's tacky. It looks very, very tacky. Are people asking me like, why didn't my doctor just prescribe Ozempic to me? And it's because it's cheaper if I go through a med spa because my insurance does not cover it because I do not have diabetes. I know a lot of people think I do, which I get it. Like it absolutely runs in my family, but I have never had diabetes. I'm very grateful for that. I've never even been pre-diabetic. So my insurance does not cover it at all since it is just strictly for weight loss. So it's just a lot easier to go through a med spa. I have been back from my appointment for a hot minute now. Now I'm making some steak stir fry. I am wanting some rice with this, so I decided I'm not gonna make that because it's like I have all this corn in here. It's like I have enough. Like this is definitely gonna fill me up. And it smells so freaking good in here. Well, that looks good. Doesn't look, look like there's anything she should not be eating in there. That all looks good. Yeah, oh my God. I am definitely a stir fry girly. I feel like it's super easy to just get in so many veggies and it just tastes so good. Okay, you guys, so I do want to end this vlog, but we're going to do question of the day. I didn't do question of the day in my last video because I did end it because I was a little upset and obviously I am feeling a lot better. You guys have been super kind. It's just... I've been going through a lot lately and I'm feeling really overwhelmed and sometimes I'm not perfect at managing my emotions. So anyways, let's do question of the day. Daily planner girl, what happened to your bullet journal? So I did my bullet journal for the full year when I did it. I think it was last year or was it 2022? My memory. But I realized that keeping up with a bullet journal is actually really hard. So that's why I didn't do one this year. Next question. Thanks for bringing us along on your adventures with your mom. I hope the medicine works out for you. Do you have to use a needle every day? No, thankfully just once a week. Okay, so last question. Why are you surprised you were denied CT scans before because you were too big? I've actually never been denied CT scans. I Look how tight her necklace is. It's flipping up. And she's wearing that because Alex has been wearing her, um, oh, what's it called, that brand? Oh, Tiffany one. So I'm not sure if this is a Tiffany one, but it's a love heart. My God, she really is a stalker. She's obsessed with Alex. I have been denied an MRI because I was too big, but I've always fit in a CT scan, but every CT scan is different. But the one that I went to originally when I was living in Kentucky did suit me, but the one I was sent to here in Oklahoma did Well, MRI and CT scans, they're pretty much all the same. They really are. They not, not do the same thing. I mean, they pretty much are the same similar machine size. Not, but thankfully there are a lot of places that do CT scans here in Oklahoma so it was pretty easy to just refer me to somewhere else anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you in the next one bye wonder why she does such short vlogs can anyone answer me that is she really just that lazy all right guys well that's it for that one it wasn't very um informative was it I thought she would really go into detail about this scan and oh well we'll have to wait for the next one all right my loves it's good night for me and I'll see you in the next vlog. Thank you all for watching and being here for me. Um, for me and with me. Oh my god, look at this lady. <laughs> Alright, my friends. See you in the next video. Bye for now. Oh, hang on. What's this we got here? Oh, that's Mama Goob. Okay. 
All right, my friends. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.